Our autonomic nervous system is in charge of running a lot of the operations kind of behind the curtains, things that we don't really think about. We don't think about a heart beating or us breathing. These things just kind of happen. But if someone is stuck too far on the sympathetic fight or flight side of things, it can create some symptoms. And if a person is too stuck on the parasympathetic rest and digest side of that autonomic nervous system, that can create a lot of symptoms too. So what we can do is we can look at what we call a pulse pressure. And you find that by taking your systolic blood pressure number, that top number, and subtract the diastolic number or the bottom number and that gives you a pulse pressure. So if that pulse pressure is greater than 46, that's an indication that a person may be leaning too far on that sympathetic fight or flight side and maybe this is happening because they're too stressed in their life or maybe their body is stressed because it's dealing with some type of burden or low resources and doesn't have all the resources it needs to function correctly. It's kind of stressing out about that. So when a person is too far on that sympathetic side, it can actually constrain the vascular system raising the blood pressure needed to push the blood through the system. So some people may have high blood pressure just because they're too far on that sympathetic fight or flight side. Now if someone's too far on the parasympathetic side, their pulse pressure would probably be less than 37. That can be an indication they're leaning too far on that side. And in an extreme parasympathetic imbalance, we often see issues like seasonal allergies and asthma. So if someone's dealing with these issues, they can watch their pulse pressure number and take steps to push them out of that imbalance and improve some of those symptoms. 